Bonjour et bienvenue, c'est la Madelise and I am so glad that you are back here in my channel. For today's tutorial, we are going to learn Tying a Bow, Quote and Quote by Tomoko Nakamichi from the book Pattern Magic Number 1. One of the simplest lessons in the book Pattern Magic Number 1 is called Tying a Bow. Today, I will demonstrate how to correctly draft the pattern step by step and how to sew this masterpiece. Again, prepare your pattern paper. And trace your bodice with armhole bust start onto your paper. Next, redraw the waist starts and from the side seam at waist, mark in 1 cm and redraw the side seam. In my recent tutorial, Nyokito, you can find there on how to redraft the side seam and the waist starts, so better check it out. From the bust line at center front, mark down 4 cm and label this mark A. From mark A, square in a line, this is the first slash line. And on this line, mark out 4 cm and label this mark B. Next, at the side seam from bust line, mark down 5 cm and label this mark C. Next, from shoulder neck point at shoulder slope, mark out 8 cm and label this mark D. From mark D, draw a slant line towards mark B. And this is the second slash line. From bust point at armhole bust start, draw a line towards mark B. This is the third slash line. Before we connect mark B and C, cut through the slash lines at the armhole bust start and permanently close the waist starts with a tape. and cut the pattern out from your paper making two pieces. And next, draw a line from mark C towards mark B. This is the fourth and final slash line. Next, get another piece of pattern paper and get the lower half pattern. And cut through the fourth slash line but do not cut beyond and tape the lower half pattern onto your paper. From mark B at the 4th slash line, mark up 8 cm. And tape the pattern in place right exactly at the 8 cm mark. Next, get the upper half pattern. And cut through the 2nd slash line but do not cut beyond. By the way, third slash line is already slashed, making two pattern pieces. From the third slash line at armhole bust start, mark up 5 cm. And tape the pattern in place right exactly at the 5 cm mark. And lastly, from the second slash line, mark up 9 cm. And tape the pattern right exactly at the 9 cm mark. Next, draw a line from both B markings. And get the halfway of this line and mark. From this line, extend a line approximately 30 centimeters. Next, mark in the length of the bow. In this case, it is 24 centimeters.
and from this mark, draw slant lines toward B markings. Next, get the one-fourth of each slant line and mark the one-fourth measurement on each line like so. Next, from the first markings, mark out 1.5 cm. And from the last markings, mark in 1.5 cm. Using a 3-in-1 ruler, draw the curve lines for the bow. Convex for the first curves. A little tip to get the identical curves, use the numbering on your ruler to achieve the exact same shape for each line. Next, draw the last curve lines. This time, the curve lines are going inward or concave. For the sake of this tutorial, I will put my sewing allowance but only at the center front. And don't forget to notch the markings at the bow. And draw the grain line indication at the upper half of the pattern at the center front. Next, place your pattern on the grain line of the fabric while the bow and the rest of the pattern are cut on bias. And do not forget to notch the markings at the bow. Next, face each piece from right side to right side together. And sew the center front seams according to your sewing allowance. And press the center front seams open. Next, face the middle seam right side to right side and pin. And fold the bow facing from right side to right side matching the notches. And pin in place. And sew the bows and the mid seams according to your sewing allowance. Next, press the mid seam open. And using a point clapper, press the seams of the bow open. Next, turn the bows inside out. And on the right side, press only at the seams of the bows to lay it flat. And your garment should look like this. Do 
to Taidebo, honestly, I watched a lot of YouTube videos because until now, I still don't know how to properly tie bows. Et voilà, and this is my tying a bow mock up. This is the front. And these are the different angles of the sides. Anyway guys, I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to draft and how to sew the tying a bow from the book Pattern Magic No. 1 by Tomoko Nakamichi. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment down below and I will reply as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. And if you super like this video, please give me a super thanks. And if you're not subscribed yet to my channel, Lamo the Least, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt! Thank you.